Good morning, it's Pastor Big Al. I have my cup of coffee, and I have my Bible, and I have a very amazing story to share with you today. It's the story of Jesus healing a man who had um, a legion of demons. And after Jesus had healed this man who had a legion of demons, this man wanted to follow Jesus. He wanted to, to be a disciple of Jesus and travel with Jesus. And I want to pick up the reading of this story found in Mark chapter 5. I'm going to pick up reading at verse 19. Listen to what it says. It says, and he, being Jesus, did not permit him, but said to him, go home to your friends and tell them how much the Lord has done for you and how he has had mercy on you. And he went away and began to proclaim in the Decapolis how much Jesus had done for him and everyone marveled. You see, the greatest testimony is what God has done for you. We really can't tell what God has done for someone else. But the greatest testimony is when we begin to tell everybody what God has done for me. This is what God has done for me. And today I want to share with you what God has done for me, a miracle that he has, he has performed for me. It actually started on June 30th. I know the date because I uploaded a video on TikTok. And this is that video. Hey guys, I want to share with you a true story. It just happened. Every morning, my wife and I, we go to McDonald's drive through We order the same thing. Sausage McMuffin, sausage biscuit, and a large unsweet tea. The cost is always the same, $3.25. And so when we get to the first uh, window, uh, the change looked a little bit weird to me. But when we got to the second window, uh, they gave us our bag and it only had one sausage McMuffin and it didn't have the other. And so uh, I told my wife I didn't want to make a big deal about it. And so we thought that maybe uh, we could just split the McMuffin and my wife said no you need to go get you a, a, a biscuit and so I drove back around got back in line ordered one sausage biscuit a little frustrated because I was going to have to pay an extra 58 cents because when they're combined it's a little cheaper and so I go up to the window to pay and the car in front of me had paid for my sausage biscuit true story just happened pray y'all have a blessed day hear how the story is because then God saved me 77 cents. Even 77 cents, that is amazing. It's a blessing. I was so excited. Well, July 1st comes around and I begin July and I begin to start the 11th time through the Bible. And so I started reading. I read that day, my, my four hours that day. And at the end of the day, uh, I checked my email and I got an email uh, that was really discouraging to me. So let me give you a little background about what this uh, email was all about. You see, this year was supposed to be our 25th wedding anniversary year, and we were supposed to go to um, go to Alaska. My, my family and I were supposed to go to Alaska, uh, and we, it was gonna it was gonna be great. We were gonna celebrate our our 25th wedding anniversary. We were gonna. Uh, sell out on uh, May 30th, and we were going to return on June 7th. That's the whole story. Well, uh, the Alaskan Cruise Line, they, they canceled our cruise, and uh, praise God that they gave us a refund for that. But I was still working with our airlines, uh, Alaska Airlines, to give us a refund, and, and uh, I had sent in all the paperwork, and, and I purchased insurance for this. I purchased insurance and the airline tickets for us six to fly out to uh, Seattle to board our cruise ship was $2,127.60. And so I was going through all the loops that I had to go through, uh, sending them all the paperwork and all the documents that they were requiring. And this has been going on since April. And um, I just like, when is this ever going to end? And so July 1st, I received an email. And it was this email right here. And in this email, it says, Dear Alan Hughes Jr., we are writing to advise you uh, of our position with respect to the coverage of the claim referenced above. And so they lift the claim. And it says, uh, according to the information provided, your trip was canceled as a result of matters surrounding COVID-19. Well, that shouldn't matter because I bought the insurance way before COVID-19 came around. And it has been verified with your travel supplier that you have either received monetary disbursement or the full value of your travel arrangement or a credit was offered. And it's true. I was offered a credit, but I didn't want the credit. I wanted the refund. I bought the insurance. I wanted the refund. And with this verification, we find that there is no forfeit unused trip cost to reimburse, and there is no compensatable coverage under the claim. 
And I got that letter on July 1st. I was so, I was so upset. I was so frustrated. And uh, I, I really didn't even sleep that night because what was I going to do with airline credits? I mean, there's really not a lot going on. And I wasn't making any plans to fly out to Alaska or anything like that anymore. I mean, that was a once in a lifetime trip and it had gotten canceled. And that was two thousand one hundred twenty-seven dollars and sixty cents, and I was I was frustrated. I was upset and disappointed. I couldn't even uh, sleep really that night. And so July second, I got up in the morning, and I'm going about my reading. I'm going about my praying, and this these are the words that God spoke to me. And I'm not lying to you about these words, but these are the words that God spoke to me. I've even shared it to my wife that very morning when she got up on July second. And here's what he, what God told me. God said, "Remember." that free biscuit I got you. Remember the free biscuit that he got me? And see, I got so frustrated um, because, you know, I didn't, I didn't get this refund. And I was, I was really discouraged. And, but after God said that to me, I was like, okay, well, I'll figure out how we're going to use these credits. You know, my wife and I, I guess we could fly out and, and do something. Um, and my kids... You know, I guess that's their Christmas present because, you know, they're going to have an airline credit to go somewhere. Um, but I just kind of like left it at that. Well, uh, yesterday I was, I was outside reading, doing my reading yesterday afternoon. It was, it was hot out there. I was having to stop every 15 minutes to, to take some water and, and wipe the sweat off my brow. And it was just was a really hot day. And I go to the, the mailbox and I open up the mailbox. And in the mailbox was a letter from our, the insurance company. And with that letter uh, was a check for the full amount of $2,127.60. And I, and I tell you all that to say that, that God does amazing things. Whether it was something like a 77 cent biscuit or a refund for $2,127.60. God knows how to provide and to take care of his people even during the toughest of times. And so I'm hoping that this will encourage you to know that even though you might be going through a tough time right now, um, God, God has got you. And when God does something amazing for you, make sure you go tell everybody what the Lord has done for you. Amen. Thank you so much for being my friend. If you like this story or you'd like to, to hear more stories like these or, or to hear some study in the scripture, then push the subscribe button. Thank you so much for being my friend on TikTok as well. God bless you. I pray that you have a blessed day.